Hello. Whenever we have a skip day, there's also a collection for the scrap metal man. And uh, I always go and pick up bits like this that are um, being thrown away. And uh, Jim always groans. <laughs> he always groans that uh, I keep taking stuff out of the scrap pile instead of stuff being put on the scrap pile. But I have used them to build brassica cage last year. So I just sorted them out into odds and ends here, which are like the connectors, the large connectors, and things like the tops and things that have got obviously the angles on it. Got some big, medium, small pieces, and in this box, there is all the connectors. And uh, somebody was throwing away uh, this piece of plastic which was off uh, one of these plastic greenhouses so uh, I've got to measure it and then using these bits and pieces build a frame for it and then I can use it as a cold frame to harden things off. I've made uh, three pieces out of what I could find top bottom and middle so this is the bottom now Obviously I ran out of suitable pieces when I got to the bottom so rather than one long piece I've had to use two pieces I've had to join them up as best I could and run out of corner pieces so this corner has actually got an extra bit but that shouldn't be a problem because that's where the bottom is so uh, we can tuck around that edge so this bit that's sticking out I'll just tuck the uh, poly around it All right that's the bottom half done so uh, now I've got to find four more pieces and put the top on okay so that's the frame done now that I've actually put the, uh, the plastic on it's just a little bit, this is 50 centimetres and the pieces are 50 centimetres but obviously there's a bit in the corner so it doesn't quite fit right and it's a bit of a stretch Here there are a few little holes but in the plastic but nothing, nothing major you know that zips a bit dodgy you know you try and get the corners in and this is way out so with these pieces this size I can't quite get the bottom closed because it's a bit of a stretch the other pieces I've got are a little bit shorter so it's going to be a bit loose fitting on this but it's better than uh, being stretched and not being able to close so uh, I'll just have to make the best of what I've got so it's uh, just about there and it's going to be, well, you know, like these things are never standard. It's going to be uh, two, three centimetres shorter on that end. So uh, we'll see. But, well, the best spot for that uh, little greenhouse is over here where it catches the south and it's not shaded by anything for most of the day. So it's a nice spot because that's Tony's greenhouse. So that's uh, a good spot obviously but I didn't want the uh, privet poking it and uh, sticking holes on the plastic so I found a couple of good thick boards I mean it's good five six millimeters thick and it's quite strong so I'm going to put that behind it to stop the uh, privet poking it now these boards are quite heavy and I've put them in at an angle can see from there because if they were straight and I leaned the greenhouse straight against them the wind could get in behind it and if they were straight like that then they would push the greenhouse the other way whereas if they're that way the wind has got to work hard to actually shift these I mean they're, they're quite heavy. I mean I can't lift them one-handed so uh, quite heavy so the wind won't shift that right 
so that's the frame put together and uh, leveled off the wood chips so should be nice and level there it's a tight spot but I can just get my wheelbarrow through now I can put the plastic back on and it fits a lot nicer now that the uh, sides are shorter just trying to get all the corners in fits a lot nicer and I'm tucking the corners in and the zips work nicely as the frame is shorter than the plastic I have to tuck the bottom under the actual frame right, so this is complete it's a little bit looser yeah, there's a bit of a extra but otherwise it works fine obviously this zip the uh, grip is gone but it still works a little bit of uh, pushing but this one's all right again it's a little bit really getting past its best but it'll do for free and uh, reclaimed it'll do but no major tears in it just a few little holes so this is ready let's see what I can find as a shelf and I haven't made too many shelves because obviously it's not the sturdiest of structures so I don't want to weigh it down tall things can go in the bottom and a few small things can uh, go in a tray or something on the top level if I had the right pieces I would probably put some cross pieces here but I don't so uh, it'll have to do as it is and here it is in action I decided to put the sunflowers in here just in case anything happens they're the least important crop so uh, if a disaster happens I can live without sunflowers so uh, they're going to go stay in here looking at how fast they're growing it's not going to be long before they actually need the full height of this it's not long since I uh, put these in and look at <laughs> the, they're outgrowing the stakes these that were I didn't stake because they were only tiggy things they need to be potted up and staked up yeah they'll fill up this space and I don't think I need to put anything in this top shelf because the sunflowers will soon get up here anyway but they'll clear up enough space in the greenhouse to uh, put other things in so it's not going to be cold frame for hardening stuff off as I originally planned I'll just use it for the sunflowers It'll be another two three weeks before they can go out I can just tie the uh, front back with these straps yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with this sunflowers tucked up for the night 